जय श्री राम टेक्स्ट कंप्लेशन लेट्स लुक एट द वर्ड्स बिलो कॉशियस यू नो दैट इज वेरी केयरफुल सो सिनोनिम्स फॉर कॉशियस आर सर्कम स्पेक्ट सी ई आर सी यू एम एस पी ई सी टी सर्कम अंटे चुटूर स्पेक्ट अंटे चूडम स्पेक्टकल सो सर्कम स्पेक्ट मीन वेरी वेरी जाग्रत वेरी जाग्रत वेरी वेरी केरफु चेरी सी हे आर वै चेरी मीन जाग्रत वेरी डब्ल्यू एआर वै वेरी अंटे जाग्रत केरफु लायल जनर फ्लैजिंग फ्लैजिंग अंत चिट इंका एगर रा पक्षी so that is the literal meaning and literal meaning ante most common meaning of the word fledgling also means an inexperienced person that means cricket lo debutante ade rookie r w o k i e rookie ante baseball term kani very popular in english rookie ante baseball lo beginner ni rookie antar cricket lo debutant a rookie means a person who might be very talented but he has no experience he is a fledgling a fledgling in politics a fledgling in something means he is very very new he is a novice n o v i c e tyro t y r o green horn g r e e n h o r n green horn means a beginner now the word green actually means anything that is immature green wine is not matured uh, well green green uh, green bacon green ham Uh, green behind the ears green means actually anything that is not mature of course the word green also means dollars because dollars are printed with a shade of green so green and green back g r e n b a c k green back also means dollars because the obverse or the reverse of the dollars you know currency american dollars they have a shade of green or a lot of green anyway that's fledgling fledgling means a beginner or a person who who has very little experience no experience so fledgling also means a bird that cannot fly now the word fledge is important please make a note f l e d g e to fledge an arrow with a feather fledging is to provide uh, a feather to an arrow in order to improve the trajectory of that arrow now to fledged he is a full fledged engineer civil engineer he is a full fledged pilot uh, full fledged means having all the skills uh, skills and uh, whatever whatever all that it takes to be an expert full fledged this is a full fledged operation that means this is a complete one so full fledged means uh, uh, having all the things and skills and tools and all that uh, again there is an idiom fledging the nest fledging is nest that means you know uh, making money by corrupt means so that's an idiom fledge one's nest means to feather one's nest idiomatically it means make money by corrupt means so you see one word fledge fledgling to fledge full fledged office so many things we have to discuss consummate is a word with two meanings perfect a consummate artist a consummate judge consummate means perfect in all respects a connoisseur a wine connoisseur whiskey connoisseur coffee connoisseur tea connoisseur art connoisseur Hmm? Uh, so all these are uh, consummate artists or consummate judges consummate means complete and perfect in all aspects now consummating a marriage means a sexual intercourse has taken place so if sexual intercourse has taken place then divorce will not be granted if somebody can prove that the marriage could not be consummated then the divorce court will easily give divorce consummate consummate a contract means all the parties have fulfilled their obligations so this word consummate is also he is a consummate rascal a consummate idiot that means he is perfect he is a perfect idiot now you know who i am talking about consummate idiot in indian politics <laughs> so although a devoted physician with a thriving practice thriving means flourishing you doing very well mudu pulu aru kayalu although a devoted physician with a thriving practice albert schweizer was no mere musical dabbler okay dabbler means a person who has only a superficial interest in something uh, dilettante d i l e t t a n t dilettante i am a dilettante in palmistry that means i just know a little i i dabble in palmistry i have only a smattering of knowledge s m a t t e r i n g smattering means a small amount so a dabbler to dab means to touch lightly 
I dabbed my forehead with the handkerchief. That means touch lightly. So dabbler means one who has touched a subject very lightly. A dilettante. The opposite of a dabbler or dilettante is connoisseur. Connoisseur means a person who is a discerning judge, who is a ulti- ultimate expert, and who can uh, you know judge the nuances, fine differences, the subtle differences also he can judge. So, mm. so he was no mere musical dabbler. Mere is always used to indicate only this much. Utti, mere batsman. That means only a batsman. The other fellow is an all-rounder. So mere is always used in a negative context to indicate that something is just this much, nothing more. So he was no mere musical dabbler. That means he was not just an ordinary mere dabbler. That means he was much, much more. But a dash organist. Now organ is a, you know a piano, piano-like instrument. Yeah? So organ, organ, you know, we all have organs. So he's playing the organ also. <laughs> Albert Schweizer. Of course, everyone can play some organ, isn't it? So I am punning unnecessarily here. Yeah. So that's it. Leave it. Leave it there. Don't worry. Think. Don't think too much about this. Why is this Albert Schweizer uh, doing something? Okay, he's not a mere musical dabbler, but a dash organist. His back recordings are even prized today. Are even prized today. Oh, prize means value, given great value. So, what must he be? Pause, please, pause. Please, pause, please, pause, 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 and work. The answer is consummate. He is not just a dabbler, he is a consummate organist. Okay? Thank you very much. Jai Shri Ram.